Hello and welcome, my name is Meeples the He She, and today's pick is Drawn to Berlin, Comic Workshops in Refugee Shelters and Other Stories from a New Europe by Ali Fitzgerald. This volume was published by Fantagraphics Books in 2018. Content notes for drowning, trauma, racism, nudity, and swastikas. What kinds of keywords came to mind reading Drawn to Berlin? Line, typography, history, refugees, and place. The summary is, quote, Fitzgerald's graphic memoir entwines political and personal displacement. Ali Fitzgerald is an artist trying to find herself in a rapidly changing city, facing an influx of asylum seekers. In Berlin, she teaches an art class to displaced people who have traveled from war-torn countries such as Syria and Afghanistan. Given Fitzgerald's encouragement, her students take pen in hand and express their painful memories of home and cautious optimism about their new life revealing the humanity behind the politics of immigration. Drawn to Berlin is about loss, community, and the art that binds people together, black and white illustrations throughout, end quote. My one note is that, to her credit, I did feel like Ali centers herself a lot less than the summary would necessarily imply, at least to me. This is certainly an outsider-looking-in sort of story, and Ali does not shy away from including herself in the story in a way that clearly explains her perspective, but in my opinion, at least, Ali does a decent job of balancing her life, the lives of the people she works with, and larger themes about belonging in Berlin, both in the past and in that present. Other autobiographical facts about Ali include she now lives outside of Paris, she contributes comics to a number of magazines, she's queer, and she describes Drawn to Berlin as surreal nonfiction. Looking at the artwork, as always, I'm pretty biased towards finely crafted and dramatic black and white art. Plus, the use of line was pretty distinctive. Looking at the intersections of identity, as we always do, One of the strengths of the volume, in my opinion, is that Ali does include a pretty wide variety of people. People of many races, classes, and sexualities have all come to Berlin throughout its history. There's discussion of the economic exploitation of undocumented people, the history and present of violent fascism, and its propaganda. Gender felt a little less explored, although a diversity of the binary is present. Disability felt the least explored. To conclude, it took me a little too long perhaps to get to this book as things continue to only get worse. Four stars. Bye y'all, keep reading and stand with striking workers. And Literally Graphic is created on land that should be given back to the traditional landholders, which in this case is, to my knowledge, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, Anamishnabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation.